you guys can see here behind me, life is back to normal here uh, in Matamoros. Now, as soon as you enter Matamoros, there's now, you'll see Mexican state police presence. We actually just left the morgue building where they actually have the Mexican National Guard there. The two Americans deceased, those bodies are still at the morgue. Right next to it is the building where the 24 Mexican National is held. There's only been one arrest so far connection to this kidnapping that that 24 year old was arrested when authorities discovered those Americans in eastern Matamoros in Playa Baghdad. But here, life is back to normal. And I was actually speaking to some Mexican locals who live in Matamoros on my way here who tell me that the kidnappings here are pretty much a normal thing. It's just Mexican nationals that doesn't get that coverage uh, from the media. And when we were actually really shocked as we were entering Matamoros, there was actually, we met two Americans from Louisiana who say that they are coming in for uh, cosmetic surgery. Oh, I'm very nervous. I'm very shaken. But, you know, you would think that um, people, you know, um, have more humanity and, and love and compassion for other people because everybody is struggling, you know, um, not just a certain group of people. My best friend came and my cousin came. They all came as a group. They made it safe before any of this, act, you know, actually happened. People here were really, really friendly. Um, they were really, really nice. So, you know, they had no concerns. You know, that's what made me want to go. And the doctors were really, really nice and really, really friendly. So um, that's what made me actually want to go. The people were awesome. Uh, this morning, we see more Americans actually still coming into Matamoros to visit doctors and dentists uh, and et cetera. So that was, that was pretty surprising to see this morning.